driver in front of you. Well, a short time ago, MEMA wrapped up an emergency meeting at its headquarters in Pearl. That's where 16 WAPT Scott Simmons continues our team coverage tonight. Scott. Good evening, Stephanie. 25 school districts or more already planning to close tomorrow. More could be added to the list because of a concern over slush freezing again and drivers not taking that threat seriously enough tonight. The footnote here at MEMA headquarters, this is a threat that could linger through Thursday morning. Emergency planners are warning residents not to let their guard down, even though the snow has stopped falling. Just a rule of thumb, if it's south of I-20, uh, it's probably frozen. For the bulk of the day, traffic was backed up throughout the Jackson area interstate system because of the ice. It forced drivers onto alternative routes like Highway 80, but it was reduced to crawls because of drivers who underestimated the slick roads, even traveling at a snail's pace. Sliding across the bridge, and she comes sliding too, so we just bumped each into each other. Were you trying to go slow? Yeah. We weren't probably doing 10 miles now. Uh, just, could, just couldn't stop. I mean, didn't, couldn't, nothing we could do. The Highway Patrol have worked over 200 accidents today due to the ice storm. State police, county, and local agencies were kept on a heated pace in the frigid cold. Brandon's police chief planning to give staffers a break while they can take it. Uh, is what you see right now uh, turning to slush and refreezing. Uh, we're anticipating that. We're getting ready for that. So, uh... Uh, Brandon and uh, the city of Brandon, we're going to be ready for it. Emergency planners are urging residents to not let their guard down or venture out onto the roads unless they have to. Black ice is a real danger. Slush that freezes and mixes with dirt, making it hard to see. These spots that are isolated that Willie talked about, this black ice, you don't see it. And then you think the road's dry and then you hit that and you lose control of your vehicle and, you know, that you hit something or, you know, hit somebody else. So. The state police has its troopers on 12-hour shifts. Other agencies staggering their shifts and placing officers to watch key travel ways that are likely to become hazardous as the night progresses. Uh, for state employees, already a notice coming from the governor. Most don't have to report to work until at least noon tomorrow. Live at FEMA headquarters, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Okay.